Wisdom for Today by Pastor Chuck Smith, May 3rd. What can I give God? Psalms 116.12 says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? Because they know Grandma loves flowers, our granddaughters will sometimes go out into our garden and pick flowers for her. They don't pick carefully, and usually they have left long end stems, and more often than not, in their quest for just the right flowers, they leave a trail of trodden down plants behind them. The garden is not theirs, it's ours. So they are going out into our garden to pick our flowers to give to Kay. But you know what? We love those gifts. I think God receives our gifts in the same attitude. There's not a single material thing that he needs. And because the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, says 1 Corinthians 10, 26, anything we give him materially really belongs to him anyways. Sometimes when we are going through his garden looking for flowers to pick for him, we sort of mess up the place. Yet he receives what we bring him with loving graciousness. When you consider all that God has done for you and all he's provided, salvation, cleansing, and the hope of heaven, it makes you want to give him something back. What could we possibly give to God that is of any value to him? There's only one thing he really wants from you. Just one thing. He wants your heart. Father, when we think of all the things that you've given us, salvation, eternal life, and our daily bread, we wonder what we can give back to you. And so, Lord, wanting to offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, we give our hearts and our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. More at PastorCheck.org.